This is the second generation of Muse S, one of the best, if not the best, EEG powered meditation and sleep support gadget on the market. But is it any good? Now I've used it for over three months and in this video, you'll learn about the benefits, how it works, my personal experience, and at the end, I'll share with you if it's worth the price. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. If biohacking, nootropics, and optimizing brain performance interest you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Muse S is a headband style gadget that can track your brain activity and help you relax, meditate, and even improve your sleep quality. If you ever feel like your brain can't shut off and it's plagued with racing thoughts even when you're immersed in meditation, then this device might be the best option for you. Now, the idea behind Muse S is to use biofeedback so your thoughts don't stray and you can focus properly. You'll know if you're doing your meditation right without having to guess all the time. And that's a very beneficial feature. But how does it actually work? Let's find out. By the way, what do you think about Muse and other gadgets for meditation and tracking sleep? Do you find them beneficial? Let me know in the comment section below. So Muse gives real-time feedback in four aspects, heart rate, breathing, body movements, and brain activity. The device consists of the soft headband and a removable brain pod, which you assemble together and firmly place on your forehead. Once you put this around your head, the device will track EEG to provide feedback that can help you train your brain. Now, what's interesting is that Muse can also act as a sleep helper, in addition to helping you improve your meditation practice. You can control all of the activities via the app, which is very simple to use and intuitive. So, what benefits can you expect from Muse? Well, using Muse can help you learn how to focus by getting real-time information about your mental activity, optimize your performance, relax more easily, fight stress and find the calm, and improve your sleep quality. But does it really work? Well, let me share with you what happened during the three month test period. By the way, are you searching for the best brain supplements and nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go for a free brain assessment, link below, and get a personal recommendation for the best nootropics. Now, I've used Muse both for meditation and improving sleep. Now, according to data I found online, Muse provides very accurate data, so it can be easily used for both things, but I prefer to use it for meditation only, and I'll soon tell you why. In the past three months, I've tried multiple meditations from their guided meditations, which are amazing, to their guided courses, which I also liked. I also used just their biofeedback feature while using Insight Timer, my favorite free meditation app. Now, in my opinion, the best feature of Muse is that you can actually hear the birds whenever you calm down. Basically, Muse tracks your mind activity and your mind can either be active, not good, neutral, all right, or calm, that's what we want. And whenever your mind calms down, you can hear the birds, so you know whatever you're doing is working well. Now, if you don't hear the birds for a while, then you need to change something or, well, just stop thinking, which is really hard to do because once you start thinking why you don't hear the birds, you are thinking and you should stop doing that. So yes, it gets very confusing. Now, Muse also tracks your stillness and you can either be active or relaxed. Now, I figured out that it's easier for me to keep my mind calm than my body, which is quite interesting. Now, to be honest, I love using Muse for meditation because without the gadget, you have no idea how calm you actually are. And sometimes it happens to me, and I'm sure it happens to you as well, that you meditate for some time, you think you're focused, but you actually aren't. Well, if this happens with Muse, you will quickly realize it. But how about their sleep feature? Now, I used to sleep with my aura ring. You can check my review up here but I stopped it because I didn't need it anymore. And whenever I got a low score, I subconsciously felt more tired during the day, which is the biggest danger of sleep trackers in my opinion. Personally, I find Muse more accurate than Aura Ring, but I haven't done a very detailed comparison yet. However, I find Muse less comfortable than Aura Ring, and I just don't like the idea of sleeping with a relatively big electronic device on my forehead that works the whole night. Now, I believe Muse can be very helpful for people who don't understand their optimal sleep routine. So if you're such a person, I definitely recommend using Muse for sleep. But once you figure it out, I don't think you need to continue using Muse or any other sleep gadgets. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Now, how to use Muse properly for the best results? Well, the first and most important thing you need to do is to put your handband on your head. 
make sure the Muse logo is facing right side up so the device can properly measure your brain activity. The sensor should be facing your skin and the headband should sit about your ears. Also, make sure all the sensors are correctly in touch with your skin. And don't forget to tighten the strap so the sensors stay in place during your practice. It sometimes happened to me that I lost the connection during meditation, which you can notice in the app after you stop meditating. Once your Muse is set up, just choose the right program in the app and you're good to go. Now, if you own the first version of Muse S, you probably wonder if it makes sense to upgrade it. Well, this new model improves several features upon the original version. First, it has a better signal quality. The air electrodes are wider, which does wonders when maintaining signal, and are made to be more durable too. Also, the battery charges a lot faster while the battery level indicator is more accurate. And when it comes to the device itself, it's obvious that the headband has been updated. Now, it is less likely to tear due to the elasticity of the materials. Muse S2 also has improved on the issue of hair getting in the way of the sensors about the ears, particularly when sleeping. And this new model introduces a completely new feature, digital sleeping pills. These are stories and soundscapes that respond to your brain activity to help you relax and unwind. For example, as you start to fall asleep, the audio starts to fade away and rises up when you start to wake up. So there are quite a few features that a person really like and the first version didn't have. So it's on you to decide whether you want to upgrade the device or not. Now, before we talk about the pros and the cons of the Muse, how about its safety? Now, in terms of safety, the headband has been tested in accordance with American and Canadian regulatory standards, so it's safe to use. It uses Bluetooth to send information to your app, but these waves are 100 times less powerful than a cell phone itself. I still don't like the idea of sleeping with an electronic device so close to my brain, but I wouldn't worry about this too much. Now, let's go into the pros and cons of Muse. Once you connect your Muse to your smartphone, it works really well and I love using it for meditation because I find it so beneficial. It also has an easy to use app. You'll be able to set up your chosen meditation session just a few seconds and the learning curve will be very, very short. The gadget is lightweight and comfortable, made of durable materials that are meant to last for years. The use of spandex allows for less wear and tear and make the device more adaptable. And the battery is durable as it can last for up to 10 hours of continued use. It is also fast to charge, it only takes about 3 hours. Now on the negative side, I sometimes had issues connecting Muse to my smartphone. Or to be more precise, I connected the device quite quickly, but the calibration time, which usually takes up to 10 seconds, was sometimes much longer. Now and then I even had to close the app or even turn off the device to make it work. Now what I figured out is that the gadgets needs to be quite tight on your forehead and you need to tighten it after few weeks of use. Apart from that, I didn't have any issues with Muse in the last three months. Now, one more thing I don't like about Muse is that besides paying just less than $400 for the device, you need to additionally pay about $10 to $13 per month for all the premium app features, such as biofeedback, etc. So this makes meditation quite a serious hobby and it's not for everyone. So to my verdict, do I recommend Muse or not? Well, I think Muse is great for people who love meditating but have distracted minds, want to learn how to tune everything out, would like to become more self-aware during the day and not only during meditations, want to get relief from their busy minds, have trouble sleeping and would like to improve the quality of their rest time, and want to track their progress and see how much they improve over time. So if that's you, then I definitely recommend buying Muse. At the price of just below $400, it's not the cheapest gadget on the market, but if you use my link below, you'll get an additional 10% discount, so go for it. And if you want to know what happened to my brain after 30 days of daily meditation, check out my video here. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.